This is Gene Key, KTTT News. NewsChannel10.com reports from Borger. Three Borger men have pleaded guilty in federal court to narcotics trafficking and gambling. The U.S. attorney says Jose Fernandez and Francisco Fernandez pleaded guilty to possesses with intent to distribute a controlled substance. David Escobar pleaded guilty to one count of operating an illegal gambling business. Sentencing dates have not been set. Amarillo.com reports a U.S. Postal Service memorandum has temporarily spared nearly a dozen post offices in the Texas Panhandle from closures. Postal Service officials in July said 11 Panhandle post offices were on a list of nearly 3,700 offices nationwide that the agency would study for possible closures. The Panhandle South Plains list includes offices in Adrian, Briscoe, Dodson, Esteline, Farnsworth, Headley, Lakeview, Lipscomb, Quail, Sanford, and Umbarger. All closures will now have to wait until May 15th after Postal Service officials agreed to slow their cost-cutting plans for federal lawmakers to consider alternatives. The Sears hometown stores are beginning to appear in more communities, and Dumas has attracted one. The Dumas Economic Development Corporation reports it has successfully recruited Mr. and Mrs. Donald Richens to Dumas as the operators of a new Sears hometown store located at 708 South Dumas Avenue. The EDC says inducement packages including tax incentives helped attract this latest small business. If you'd like the latest Dumas Panhandle and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD News.